In this little box of happiness, pure joy, I'm going to share with you some of the newest pieces from Cezanne that I recently got. The belt that matches my beautiful Milo bag. They are soulmates. Mwah. The jumpsuit that I stocked for a whole month. It's finally online. It's finally back in stock. So beautiful. I'm going to share everything with you guys. A bathing suit, which is the first time I'm trying. Have you guys ever tried any swimwear by Cezanne? I'm so curious to see how this fits because it looks so pretty, but you know, you never know how it's gonna look like. And the Tomboy shirt, which is basically hidden on the website. Nobody talks about it, but it's so pretty. So I'm gonna be sharing a review of these four pieces. If you wanna see them, keep on watching. Hello my loves, welcome to my YouTube channel. So, so happy to have you here today. I am wearing some beautiful jewelry. I got some questions from you guys about Zen jewelry and I have this Philippa necklace that I got over a year ago and I wore this so much last year. I wasn't sure if this would um, really last long because it's brass, it's not like real gold. And I'm so surprised because I wore this non-stop for maybe three months. I normally wear that mostly in the summer because I am more like tan. I just like it better because it's a really yellow gold like my watch that I never take off. Um, so it's a great necklace and I have a full review on this one. My videos were so bad back then, but please forgive me. Let's just focus on the content. <laughs> And this um, earring is from Monica Vinader. That's not sponsored, but I do have a discount code if you guys want to check them out. This is from She Said Yes. I also have a beautiful review on it. Look how gorgeous that ring is. It's in moissanite and I absolutely love it with rose gold. And this one is from PD Paula. I also have a discount code. So forgive my my nails, they look awful. I actually have to do them. Anyways, so let's get back to today's video. In today's video, we're going to talk about the Livy belt, which I have seen on the website so many times. They have this in a beautiful lavender. They have this yellow, which is new, and it matches completely the Milo bag. I don't really love matchy-matchy, but I felt like I do have some yellow pieces, and I do love yellow. Green is my favorite color. I would say yellow is the second one. And I just feel like this will match a lot of my outfits and it made sense to get it. So a good thing about Livy Belt is that it comes in half sizes. I always have a hard time finding my right size because I have a 73 centimeter waist, which is about 27, 28 inches. And Cezanne mostly has 80 and 90 for belts. So the 80 is usually great on the smallest part of my waist, but if I put a little bit lower or if I have a bulky pair of pants, it's not going to work. And for the 90, it's just huge on my waist and then it works perfectly if I have something a little bit lower. So I always wonder if they would start sharing the 85 because that would be a great size for me for my waist. I have all my measurements down below and I am linking everything you guys see here um, below in the description box. So I got this one in size 85, it's perfect. I think it could have one extra hole if I'm wearing something very thin on the smallest part of my waist. Other than that, it's really, really great. The material is really nice, it's real leather and it's a simple belt with a gold buckle. I think it's so much easier to style than thicker belts. I do have quite a collection of belts and I noticed that I have a hard time wearing the thick ones just because when you have a shorter torso or like average, it, it's kind of hard to break your image with thick belt. So unless I'm wearing a maxi dress and I need that thick belt, I just have a really hard time putting on pants because I don't think they look very nice. In my opinion, thinner belts are so much easier to style. And I am comparing this one with the Celine belt that I recently got. Well, not so recently, but I won't recommend that belt because it does have some cracks already on the holes and that's really annoying for the price point so it's not cool but anyways i'm keeping the belt i am going to wear for as much as possible as long as possible 
and I do love it. I just wouldn't recommend like if you're thinking about splurging on that one, I would think twice, maybe get it pre-loved, maybe get it like on sale or with those points program. So the Livy Belt retails for $70, which I think is a fair price, especially for Cezanne. Most of their belts are over $100, so this one is really, really nice. I think the quality is great. I haven't worn it yet for a long time, but I believe it's a great quality because everything I got from Cezanne so far really held up amazingly. So I love the belt, would highly recommend. Grab while it's available. They do have the lavender, the yellow. They have a beautiful printed one like with texture and they also have a black one, which would be the easiest to style. The next piece that I'm going to review for you is the jumpsuit. This jumpsuit is from Cezanne Editions, which is a special line they released just last month in April and now they're just releasing their last pieces. It's kind of hard to get because they sold out so, so fast. This is a more formal and like dressy kind of clothes, I would say. But this one, because it's a jumpsuit and it's short, it, it just, uh, it's beautiful. It just feels a little more casual, but at the same time, you are put together and dressy, if that makes sense. It's just that kind of jumpsuit that it's not quite just to go to Target, <laughs> you know, like take the bus and go over there. You can actually dress that up wearing nice heels or just a nice handbag and you're gonna be great for even an event if you want because of how metallic and shiny the the fabric is you can see it's a really heavy weight fabric like when you touch really really good actually it feels like really high end and the material is 51% viscose and 49% acetate so I really love the jumpsuit. I got mine in size 36 or 4, which is my usual size. This one is oversized, so you really don't have to size up. I would take either your usual size, or if you're in between sizes, I would size down. For bottoms, I normally wear between small and medium, or 36 and 38, which is the size US 4 and US 6. So this one just fits perfectly. I really love how it falls on you know, your body, like my body. I think it's beautiful. One thing that I noticed uh, with the belt is that the belt doesn't really have any loops. So you kind of have to put it on and just hope it doesn't <laughs> fall. One trick that I found that really helps is putting this in here. Instead of just wearing as a normal belt like this, just putting on this side. That would be just a regular way of wearing a belt. I kind of just bring it back to this side just to make sure it will hold because otherwise, like this is very secure. Otherwise the belt is gonna be sliding and it, it, yeah, it's not gonna work. So that's one down point about it. But other than that, I think the jumpsuit is beautiful. It is great if you have a long torso. Actually, it's a good thing because it does have a lot of room. You can see on me, I have a shorter torso, I would say. And you can see like it really drapes and I have a lot of fabric here, but not like in a bad way. It just looks like it's a shirt tucked in shorts. So I think it's a super cute look and you can actually adjust just putting it down a bit or higher a bit and it's going to change the look really a lot. So it's a good thing depending on your body type. I think this could work pretty much for anybody depending on how you put on. So I love the jumpsuit. This one's gorgeous. They have that in green as well, but I felt like the green would be too much and also it's not available. And I also got a very similar one about a month ago, which is the Juan jumpsuit. This one's John, I think, John, John. And the one that I got is Juan, which is the same exact style, just different fabric, but it's so, so cute too. I really love jumpsuits. Let me know below if you guys like jumpsuits, if you wear them during the summer, spring, I think it's such a good piece, especially because you don't have to worry about styling it. Like sometimes getting bottoms and tops, you have to really think about how it goes with your bag, with your shoes. But jumpsuits are just one piece and it's super easy, except when you wanna go to the bathroom. There, There is that. So <laughs> the bathroom part can be really annoying. But other than that, I think jumpsuits are incredibly beautiful and practical. Next piece, the swimwear, the swimsuit. So this is the first time that I'm trying a Cezanne swimsuit. I never had any before or bikini, anything like swimwear. I got this one in size 38. I'm normally in between 36 and 38. 
This one is a special collection, is a collaboration, and here's the name of the artist. They have a lot of pieces with this artist and I think they are absolutely gorgeous. I've seen so many tops and bottoms in just one piece swimsuit that are just stunning. This one, I have actually a skirt, like a matching skirt, not that I'm gonna wear them together. You could actually wear this as a bodysuit. I think it should be fine if you want to wear that as a bodysuit. The only problem is that it's a bit of a low V neck. So I don't know if you'll be comfortable with that. Other than that, I think it's totally wearable. And it's the same print. The only difference is that this one is more yellow. I think it's more saturated. While this one got like a cream background, very light yellow, very light cream with the navy. Inside, it's all, all navy and it's completely lined all the way. I would say this covers um, your, you know, your butt fine, but this is so cultural. Like for me, I am from Brazil and in Brazil, this is like a huge bottom part. You won't see that a lot. If you go to the beach, you're gonna see very small bikinis. So I can't really say if this is appropriate or not appropriate. This is really about you and how you feel. To me, this is pretty much um, all I need. I don't think I need to cover more and I don't think I would feel comfortable um, at this point of my life and where I live to wear something smaller. When I was in my 20s, I would wear the smallest bikinis. I never felt uncomfortable with it, again, because it's the culture. It's something very common in my country, especially where I'm from. I'm from the beach, so I would go to the beach pretty much every weekend. I just love this so much. It's probably one of the, the things that I miss the most. Like after my family and my friends, it's the beach and the food. <laughs> So the swimsuit is amazing. I've seen Cezanne models styling that with this open like this. I think it's a little bit too much, but if you are on the vibe like to be sexy, <laughs> it's totally feasible. The swimsuit is beautiful. I would highly recommend. I think the quality is great. It feels like really high end. It's like that lycra feel, like very nice and cool. That's going to be dry after you go to the, the water, like the ocean or the pool. This one has 83% polyamidin, 17% elastin. So very elastic, very stretchy. And there's a lot of room here on the, like the straps and everywhere really. I decided to size up because I didn't want this to be too, too tight. Also, you guys, if you want to put padding on your breast, you could. There is no room in here, okay, to put in but because it holds pretty well, you can easily put that on just if you want a little boost. I'm not saying that you should change your body. I think you should totally embrace your body as you are. What I'm saying is there are days, for example, with my hips that I totally embrace my hips and I want to show it off and I want to wear like a tight dress and just go. But there are days that I'm just like into, you know, hiding it. So it's all about how you feel. What I'm saying is you could put a little bit of a padding if you wanted to, otherwise it will be just fine as is. Just giving you the information in case it's something that you are wondering. So beautiful swimsuit, can't wait to wear that. I don't normally wear one piece suits. I prefer a bikini, just top and bottom, mostly because of how it looks when you take the, like when you sunbathe. I just don't like to have my belly all white and the rest of my body more tan but I think it's a beautiful piece to have like for photos or if you go into um, the pool, like a hotel, if you want to be more, you know, classy, I think this is beautiful. And the last piece is a tomboy shirt. Nobody's talking about this. It's so pretty. Look how gorgeous that is. One thing I noticed is that the color is a little bit different from the website. I felt like this was gonna be more of a white tone, but it's definitely a pinky, um, like pinkish, undertone this is my undertone boy shirt from i think two years ago a year ago and it's definitely white i actually just sold this because i got this one but i'm not 100 percent sure that i'm keeping that i just didn't wear this i feel like i'm not really into delicate pieces with cute ditzy floral it's just not my style i love them on other people but every time i wear them i just don't feel like it quite speaks you know i feel like because i have a like I won't say thick, but yeah, thick jaw and I have, you know, that face 
that sometimes feels more dramatic. I just don't feel comfortable with little hearts or like girly pieces. It's just my personal style. So I think that's the reason I have never worn this and I feel like I might not wear this either. I was hoping that I would get the parts with the treble clef the most. I am a musician, I'm a pianist and piano teacher. So there is one part here that has the music symbol, the treble clef, and I was just hoping this would be on the front, you know, because it's so cute. But I got this one and it's very pretty. It has chance, which means luck. It has some flowers and hearts. It says passion. What else does it say? Um, liberté, which means freedom, I believe. Please correct me if I'm wrong. So it's really cute. I love the shirt. It's really nice. I think it fits well. I got mine in size 38. I sized up for that one because every time I try the tomboy, I just feel like it's a little bit too small on my shoulder. And this time they say you should size up if you're in between sizes. So I was smart that time. And then I got the 38. I think the size is perfect. If you're in between sizes, take the size up. Otherwise, just take your usual size. This one, the composition is very nice, actually feels great when you touch. It's 55% linen and 45% cotton. I think it's comfortable, it's beautiful, fits well. I think it's an easy shirt that you can just wear with jeans, with any kind of bottoms you want. Um, it is a little bit busy, so I would just stick to something solid um, for bottoms. But of course, this is all about your preference. I just wanted to share with you because it's a beautiful piece that I haven't really seen a lot. It's still available. Sometimes Cezanne um, website is just so hard to find um, some pieces. You type and then you don't see it. So I wanted to share because I think it's a gorgeous piece and hopefully it won't sell out so quickly. Just for a quick comparison, I already showed you guys the Tomboy, which is white. This is against that. It definitely has a pinky, like pinkish undertone. This one is completely white, so you can see the difference. And I'm gonna grab just one more for you to see, which is a true beige. So this is a true beige from H&M, while this is a bit more pink. I don't know if you can see the difference. And here you go. So this is more of a true beige, while this has more of a pink undertone. Very pretty. So let me know if you guys have questions. If you're not following me yet on Instagram, it's Mila in New York. Would love to connect with you guys there. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know below which pieces you like the most. And don't forget to subscribe and give the thumbs up. It really helps my channel so much. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye bye.